You see, this really pisses me off because I'm a professor. A college professor at Georgia State University called the police on two students because they were two minutes late to class. The police come and they actually back the professor, even though the professor is not aligned with the university policy. Let me give you the background to this. A GSU student and TikToker explains, here it is. Two black students had the police called on them today at Georgia State's perimeter campus in Newton County for being two minutes late to class. You heard me correctly, two minutes late to class and they had the police called on them. When the professor then asked them to leave, Taylor responded and said, we paid to be here. The professor, Carissa Gray, then responded, okay, and left the room. When she returned, she returned with two armed police officers. The woman cop, whose name I do not know, proceeded to grab Taylor's things and try to forcibly remove them from the room. They then said that if they did not leave, they would be charged with trespassing. The students arrived to the classroom, the door was wide open, they were allowed to enter, walk all the way to their seats, sit down and proceed to take out their things to take notes. The woman police officer proceeded to hold on to Taylor's things until Taylor agreed to leave. She then went down to the advisement center to figure out who it was that she could talk to to file a report. She was directed to go to the department head of Professor Mason then told Taylor that her only two options were to either stay in an environment that she didn't feel safe in or take an F. When we went across the street to the other building to file a complaint with the student life department, we were then informed that this was not the first time that the police had been called on a student for something irrational. So let's count the ways here. So here are the threats so far. You can go to jail for trespassing even though you are a student paying to be there, paying that professor salary. Uh, that professor is there to educate students. The professor is now creating a new prison, a uh, school to prison pipeline from the university. And when that threat did not work, now here's another threat. Uh, you're going to take an F, all against policy. And I will show you how that is against policy. Obviously, it is against ethics for a professor to treat any student like that inside of a classroom is shameful. It is shameful. Now, let me say this, because I did receive text messages, a couple of emails from people at Georgia State University. Professors that work at Georgia State University that I count as friends. They asked me not to do this segment. I'm going to do this segment, period. All right, a black professor, yeah, a black college professor called the police on two black students for arriving to class late at Perimeter College at Georgia State University, prompting outrage from the students peers on TikTok and rightfully so. TikTok creator and college student Bria Blake posted about the incident on Wednesday evening in the video which has over 160,000 likes, it has increased since. She says two of her classmates known as Taylor and Cameron were two minutes late to an English class, the professor whom Blake names as Carissa Gray, asked them to leave because they were late. Gray did not immediately respond to NBC News request for comment. Okay, so we don't have a picture of the professor. We do have a picture of the president of Georgia State University, Dr. M. Brian Blake is president. Dr. Blake, according to every bit of information I have is a stand up guy. And I'm looking forward to the way he handles this based on the leadership profile he has. Georgia State University said it is looking into the situation. Here's a quote, we are looking into this matter and how it was handled by the faculty member. Campus police arrived after being called by the faculty member and immediately de-escalated the situation between the students and faculty member. Clearly no crime had been committed. So there was no arrest. Now that's according to the university, according to the narrative, that's not exactly what happened. According to the narrative, the campus police, they did not make things better. According to Blake's retelling, Taylor said that they as students paid to be here and refused to leave. Gray then left the room and returned with two armed police officers. This is in a classroom, you have to understand the atmosphere. So literally other students, are witnessing 
their fellow students have the police called on them. The police come, they got guns. And I've said this to you before and I'll say it again. When you call the police, you're calling a gun. When you call the police, you are calling a gun to the situation, all right? 911 means emergency, that's what that means. Here's more. Georgia State University campus police and the major of police operations at the perimeter campus did not immediately respond to NBC News request for comment. Stuff like this cannot keep happening to black youth in America. Stop weaponizing the police against black people. Georgia State University does have policies against disruptive behavior, does, all right? They have a policy, it's a classroom policy. Student code of conduct, real simple, anybody can read it. The school policy states that an instructor may summon campus police to remove a student whose behavior, and I quote, poses an immediate threat to the safety of themselves, the instructor or other students. Now last time I checked, last time I checked, a student being late for class poses no threat to the student, student body, nor the educator, right? Now, many of you will say, wow, isolated incident, professor was out of line for doing this. But according to the students, this problem permeates in the culture. There's a reason this professor felt comfortable enough to call the police on two students who were two minutes late for class. It shocks the conscience, it really does, that this is extreme. Let me give you something, an example of something that happened in 2020. 2020, Indiana University, all right, had a similar situation. Indiana University says a white professor accused of discrimination after he called university police to his classroom because a black student refused to change seats, won't teach for the remainder of the semester. They suspended that individual and I think eventually got rid of that white professor. Georgia State University representative said the policy refers to extreme behavior, talking about the conduct, code of conduct, refers to extreme behavior that may endanger others in the classroom. That's when you call the police, calling the campus police over tardiness or other disrespectful behavior. The representative said is not typical of university faculty. Once again, all due respect to Georgia State University, that's not what your students are saying, okay? Your students are saying quite contrary. Your students are saying professors are calling cops on students for ridiculous things. According to Blake, both Taylor and Cameron were terrified of what could happen to them. When Gray called the police, given the history of disproportionate police violence against black people, calling the police on two students for being two minutes late to class is extremely unreasonable and dangerous, Blake said, and I concur. Right? This is foolishness and dangerous. Students are in college to get a proper education. Professors have to engage in their pedagogy to make that happen. When professors start acting as oppressors in the classroom, we have a serious problem, and you damn sure have a serious problem with me. Now we're gonna follow this story because at this point, I'm still disappointed in the lack of conclusion and remedy in this situation. Ben, thoughts on this? Yeah, there's two layers to this that I think are important to touch on. The first is this tendency. This is a long term pattern that's been going on in the United States, which is this cultural norm of always seeking out some sort of higher authority, some sort of outside authority to come in and step in when really you could resolve the conflict interpersonally, right? Like, And this is something that has been resolved many times in the history of the United States. Students showing up late to class and the professor having a conversation. And this is where like the prof- this professor is robbing these students of a learning opportunity, right? If these students are showing up late to class, there's a real opportunity to practice your interpersonal skills of like conflict resolution. Obviously, they're showing up late to class. She doesn't want them to show up late to class. There's some tension there, but instead of resolving the tension by having a discussion, asking, hey, why are you late to class? There, she went and called the police. 
right? And so right there, an interpersonal learning opportunity is lost because of this tendency that has grown in the United States history, like just over the past 20 years, just look at like playground fights in elementary school used to be resolved by teachers or high or or principals, and yeah. now they were often resolved by police officers, and that is one tendency. And the other the other aspect of this that I think is absolutely critical to understand is really this negligence that comes along with that, which is. People, when they call outside authorities, think they're getting impartiality. What they are really getting is indifference because we all know how police officers operate, especially when you're talking about like young black kids that are just college students, right? They're kids, they're college students. Um, And if you're calling, Police, right, to respond to the situation, you are quite literally putting their lives in danger. You are playing roulette with their lives, and so that it's just absolutely critical that we understand that that what we think is impartiality is really indifference. Yeah, very well said. And I would say this um, as a professor, I've, I've had a lot of situations in the classroom. I remember one young lady; she was waiting outside of the classroom. She had a baby with her. And the babysitter had not come to the campus to pick up her child. And she was concerned that the babysitter was gonna run too late. So I said, come on in the classroom. I held the child and I taught class. We did that back four years ago. We've had situations where one student, this was last semester, one student, she's a single mother. She has some issues with her son. She was unable to make the final. She could not come on the final exam day because of an issue with her son. So I scheduled her final on that Sunday evening. That's simple. As a professor, you have the authority to do those things. Why make it difficult for students that already have a difficult life? They overcome so much to get to that point, especially black students. It's just insane. And for this to be a black professor, I'm so damn disappointed.